this is for the Shields Capstone team, and the project that we are working on is a test environment data transfer. The business need that we're aiming to meet is that Shields currently uh, needs test tables to be populated with production table data uh, to try out their new and existing programs. Currently, the way Shields is doing this is they're using SQL injections, which isn't exactly the safest way to do it, as when something is deleted uh, with an SQL injection, it is permanent, there is no undo. So what we aim to do with this project is to create a simple user interface that allows people to populate the test table with a validated production table, and then this will prevent that accidental data deletion and will remove the need for any manual SQL uh, injections, which also removes the need to actually know SQL to use it. The intended solution, uh, so we used React for the front end and we used .NET to create the backend API, and then to manage it, we used Bitbucket and Jira. So here are some uh, major or milestones throughout the development phases. In dev phase one, we uh, came up with the use case diagram, a rough user interface mockup, and we got the database connected. Uh, dev phase two, we got the database and the API all connected up. We met our uh, like our uh, soft goal to get some hard coded tables to work. And then what we were able to do, uh, we got a stretch goal, and that was to have combo boxes that would be populated with valid tables and schemas so that when you'd go back into the project later on, you would have a list of the different valid uh, tables you can choose from, uh, and then that will be saved. So to show how the project is working, uh, what you do is you select, these are some of the valid tables that have been saved, and then it'll select the corresponding schema to the table, um, or if you have the same table in a different schema, you can just exit out and then type it in. Uh, right now we only have one because we're only working with one schema. Then we check the table, and then this validates that this is a current uh, valid table. And then you can do like submit zero, which clears test database. You can do the top five rows, which just grabs five, and now that's what's in there. Or you can do submit all. Uh, and then for the user interface to save on time, well, it does do all. So like in this case, it pushes a thousand uh, records into the test database. It'll only display 200 records, uh, just because there are times when there'll be like tens of thousands of records being transferred. And then to show what it looks like when you change this, it clears everything since now nothing has been validated. And then what we'll do is we'll type in vend main, which is the name of another table within the uh, project, within the PG admin. So then we check it. And then when it does that, that means that it was now added. So now you can click on it, check it again. And then it has all the same functionality as I talked about before. And then if we were to refresh to simulate like reopening the project, it will be there for next time and it will work just the same.